seventh from the Sun, is the first of our solar system's two ice giant planets, Uranus. And giant is fitting, since Uranus is more than 30,000 miles across, nearly four times the size of Earth, and not to mention, third largest planet in our solar system. And ice is also fitting, because like neighboring Neptune, Uranus is a gigantic ball of rock and ice. It's no wonder why Uranus is such a frozen world. Orbiting 1.8 billion miles from the sun makes staying warm terribly difficult. After all, this is nearly 20 times farther from the sun than Earth. But despite being incredibly far away, Uranus was the first planet to be discovered using a telescope during the late 1700s. Turns out, what had been thought just another star in the night sky was actually the seventh planet. So as a show of respect for the reigning king of England during this time, Uranus was originally named George for the first 75 years. Thankfully, this frigid world would ultimately be named in honor of the ancient Greek god of the sky for its pale blue-green color. Actually, the planet's methane-filled atmosphere works to absorb red sunlight, allowing the planet to reflect mostly green and blue light, giving Uranus its stunning appearance. For such a large planet, Uranus spins quickly on its axis, causing a single day to last just 17 hours. Not all that different from home. However, with such a tremendously far orbit, it takes Uranus a staggering 84 years to make its way around the sun completely. That means a year will last well over 30,000 days. Woof. That would also mean that if you left Earth 10 years old, you'll be ready to celebrate your point one birthday on Uranus. Happy birthday! Regardless of its size, Uranus is surprisingly lightweight. So the gravity you experience on the planet would only be around 11% less than on Earth. Therefore, you could jump around 11% higher and lift about 11% more weight on Uranus. And you, yourself, would only weigh a slight bit less too. If you were 100 pounds on Earth, you'll be a trim 89 pounds on Uranus. Uranus's size and gravity are also enough for the planet to wrangle in 27 of its own moons each one named after different characters from Shakespeare plays. And Saturn is not the only ringed planet in our solar system. Uranus has 13 of its own rings. Its nine inner rings are faint and gray, while the outer rings are reddish and bluish. Perhaps most mysterious of all, Uranus is tilted on its axis by a wild 98 degrees. While the cause of this tilt remains a great mystery, it was most likely the result of a collision with an Earth-sized planet billions of years ago. This also allows for some of the solar system's most extreme seasons. And on that note, let's tune in for your Uranian weather forecast. The fierce tilt of Uranus would mean that while one half of the planet faces sunlight, the other half is locked in the frozen darkness for 21 years at a time. Your high temps won't make it too far past the planet's average of 350 degrees below zero. Although you may experience lows of almost 375 degrees below zero in the southern hemisphere. Even though Neptune takes the cake for windiest planet in the solar system, Uranus has its own share of crazy winds you can expect some gusts to reach over 500 miles per hour. Of course, the surface of Uranus is far too cold to allow liquid rainfall, though beneath the planet's surface, it's believed to rain pure diamonds. This is the result of the elements making up the planet being squashed under tremendous pressure. There's a lot about Uranus that remains shrouded in mystery. After all, only one mission has directly visited this ice giant, NASA's Voyager 2 in 1986. We still have many new cosmic mysteries left to uncover. Next stop, ice giant number two, Neptune. <laughs>